Another reliable option for thin patients who require post-mastectomy radiation is the latissimus dorsi myocutaneous flap. This procedure involves a transfer of a large muscle, skin, and fat from the back to reconstruct or resurface the damaged breast skin envelope. As the latissimus muscle possesses much less volume than the abdomen or thighs, this type of reconstruction typically requires the use of an implant or fat grafting to restore sufficient volume to the reconstructed breast. Patients will usually stay overnight in the hospital and are able to go home the next day. In most cases, patients are able to return to full unrestricted activity within four weeks with no significant limitations in performing their daily activities. For patients who have been previously radiated or who want to avoid implants but do not possess enough soft tissue in the lower abdomen to support autologous reconstruction, the use of ex excess skin and fat from the upper inner thighs can serve as a reliable secondary option. Typically, the volume of tissue provided by this donor site is much less than that can be obtained from the abdomen, so this needs to be taken into consideration when discussing each patient's goals for the reconstruction. The timeline for hospitalization and recovery with thigh-based flaps is similar to that for deep flaps. So during surgery, we use a number of tools to help guide our decision making in the operating room. Fluorescent imaging technology allows us to better assess blood flow to the breast skin and the tissue used for reconstruction, and it helps improve the success of the procedure by allowing us to identify tissues with poor blood flow that are most prone to developing wound healing complications. Fat grafting is another useful tool that allows us to improve the appearance of the reconstructed breast. This procedure involves the use of liposuction to harvest excess fat from unwanted areas and inject this fat into areas where there's volume deficiency or abnormal contour. This allows us to optimize the results achievable from both implant-based and autologous reconstruction. Mm -hmm.